Let's take a look at command line concepts. Alternation in grep regular expressions. Let's begin by taking a look at the grep man page. The grep man page specifies the usage patterns for grep, as well as options and command line flags. One of these command line flags is going to be especially important in this example. Extended regular expressions. This can be enabled by setting the dash E flag. When the dash E flag is specified in grep, grep will interpret the pattern as an extended regular expression. Extended regular expressions use a slightly different syntax than basic regular expressions. The difference between the two syntaxes is described later on in the man page. In the section describing the syntax of regular expressions. Grep is capable of supporting three different regular expression syntaxes. When nothing is specified, that is, no flags specifying otherwise, grep will assume basic regular expression syntax. If we use the dash E flag, as shown above, then grep will use the extended regular expression syntax. Finally, a third syntax is used by the Perl programming language, Perl regular expression syntax. Grep can support all of these. We're going to be take a look, taking a look at alternation in regular expressions. Alternation can be supported in both basic and extended regular expressions. Those are the only two that we're going to look at right now. The main question is whether the syntax for alternation has to be escaped or not. Alternation. Two regular expressions may be joined together in a disjunction by using the bar or pipe infix operator. The resulting regular expression matches any string that satisfies either of the alternating conditions. When basic regular expression syntax is used, the bar must be escaped using the backslash operator. When extended regular expression syntax is in use, no escape character is necessary. Let's try an alternation. We will use a text file that contains alphabetically sorted words. Each word is on one line of text. Let's do a grep search using the extended regular expression syntax for specifying the pattern. This command matches all lines that either contain the sequence IGHT or contain the sequence ITE. Observe that grep has matched both right, spelled R-I-T-E, and right, spelled R-I-G-H-T. If we remove the dash E flag, 
grep will use the basic regular expression syntax. In the basic regular expression syntax, an unescaped vertical bar, as we have here, matches an unescaped vertical bar. In other words, in this syntax, grep is looking for a line that matches the pattern I, G, H, T, followed by a vertical bar, followed by I, T, E. Using the basic regular expression syntax, in order to get the alternation, we have to escape the vertical bar. In other words, this command is identical in meaning to this command. Both of these commands do the same thing. They search for the pattern IGHT or ITE. IGHT or ITE. It's up to you which of these syntaxes you will use in any given scenario. Using the dash E flag allows you to specify the vertical alternation bar without escaping it. Alternation can also be combined with other regular expression meta characters. Parentheses can also be used to separate the alternation from other meta characters. Let's try to match all of the lines that end either in IGHT or in ITE. We'll use the extended regular expression syntax and use parentheses to group the alternation. Finally, we will use the dollar sign to indicate that this pattern must occur at the end of the line. Note that the dollar sign occurs outside of the parenthesized alternation pattern. We see here that grep has matched all lines that end in IGHT or ITE. Now let's try this same alternation but without the use of the parentheses. Observe the results. Notice that in this case, the dollar sign is bound to only the second part of the alternation. In other words, this pattern searches for lines that contain IGHT anywhere in the line or ITE at the end of the line. 